Hi everyone, welcome back to another Nikki Uncut. This is gonna be all about my March favorites. I have so many favorites from March that I can't wait to share with you. A lot of these might not be a surprise. Some of them might be a surprise. I don't know. It's gonna be fun. It's Nikki Uncut, so let's get into my favorites from March. First things first, there's two powders that I pretty much pulled every single day to set my under eyes and the rest of my face, like my T-zone. And that, those are both from Huda Beauty. Both shades are from Huda Beauty, I should say. They're the Easy Bake Powders in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake Love. That's what I have on my eyes right now. It has a soft pink hue to it, which that's Tomas. If you know me, you know I love the Givenchy Prism Lead Powder in the shade number three because it has a soft, slight pink undertone to it or a pink tint to it. This one does too. It's beautiful. This is just one of my favorite powder formulations period, like on the market that you could buy. It is phenomenal. But the newest shade that they came out with is Peach Pie. Peach Pie is fantastic. I love them both. They're, they've been like the most grabbed and used and pulled powders in my possession for the last couple of months, but especially for the, the month of March, these have been just my absolute holy grail. So yeah, these are amazing. If you have not tried them, I highly recommend those powders. They're just an incredible formula. Now jumping into, and there's no order, there's no rhyme or reason for this Nikki and Cut, like with the products I'm gonna tell you about, there's no like specific order. They're just all my favorites. And these are honestly the most fun videos for me to do because I get to geek out and tell you about all my favorite makeup. So not makeup technically, but a new product that I can't stop using. It is a fantastic plumping, hydrating serum. It's from the brand Make. Make has makeup, they have skincare, they have a whole bunch of stuff. If you, if you haven't checked them out, I'll link everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video in the description box, but this is their newest launch. It's the Subverse Plumping Peptide Serum. This is a holy grail. And in fact, I plan on reaching out to the brand and asking for another one and being so bold because first of all, I know the owners of the, of the company. They have amazing products. Um, Carrie Barber is the owner of Make and um, I want to like kind of like pull the friend card and be like, can you send me another one? Because I want to put this in my pro kit because this is the kind of serum that I love to prep my client's skin with because the way it just like plumps up your skin and gives it that beautiful glow and that juicy hydration. Like, look at that. Look at the difference between these two hands. Like, do they belong to the same person? I think not because this hand looks so much younger and like plumped and juicy. So Anyway, it's a skin prep product, but I have not been able to put this down. It works incredibly well under makeup and also with a lot of the other skincare products that I like to use on a regular basis. So it's been a March favorite for sure. Let's switch gears to an actual makeup product. This is from the brand Dibs. Dibs, they were so kind. They sent me like a huge PR package. So I got to try all the different shades and just all the stuff they have to, to that they have to offer, which was amazing because I... I've been told to try this brand for many years now, honestly, and I just never got around to it. So really grateful to Dibs. Thank you for the PR. This has been my go-to product since I discovered it. It's their double-ended. It's like a bronzer with a blush. So this is the bronzer sh sh side. I'm getting a little excited here. I gotta reel it in. I've had a lot of like matcha and I gotta reel it in. And then this is the blush. This is the blush that I actually have on my cheeks right now. It gives a really soft glow to the skin. It's a really pretty color. I just put like a soft amount of it on. You can also build up the intensity, which I really like with cream products like blushes because you can either wear it soft, more natural, or you could build up the color intensity. Um, you could build up the intensity of these products very, very easily. So I really like the formula. And the bronzer is what I have on as well right now. So I have the bronzer on. It's just a great bronzer tone. So that is that. And been loving this formula. I can see genuinely now like what the hype is about with these because they're just a great product. They're straightforward. I mean, there's not much else to say about a cream bronzer and a cream blush. They're, they're, they blend on well. There's no patchiness in the formula. They're long wearing and they're just really easy to work with. And I do love the double-ended blush with the bronzer. I didn't think I was gonna love that to be honest, but I am obsessed with it because when I pack my makeup on the go, I know if I have one of these, I have a blush formula and a bronzer formula all in one. And it's just convenient to have just more space and not have to pack so much with you when you're on the go. So that's my favorite. This might not be a surprise, but I really am loving the new shades from Patrick Ta. I actually put one of the shades I picked up, um, the shade just, no, not too much. I put in my pro kit. 
I've been using it on a regular basis. It is a crowd pleaser, let me tell you. It works on so many different of skin tones and just different clients that I work with. So I put in my Pro Kit, so I don't have any more. I gave it up for very unselfish reasons. It's out of stock. Hopefully it'll be back soon. But the other one that I like just as much, well, almost as much, I should say. I shouldn't lie. I, I almost like this as much as the other one. This one is more of like a soft, uh, cool tone pink. This is the shade Just Enough. I kept this one for myself. It's just a really pretty, girly, I don't know, pink soft blush. That's all. I, that's the best way I could describe it. It's just a really pretty formula. Um, I love the Patrick Ta Dual or whatever they're called. Double Take is what they're called. The Double Take Cream and Powder Blushes. I always forget the names. I always want to call them a dual blush, but they're the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. So I love this formulation. I have lots of them. So I had to mention this. I've just been grabbing this a lot when I'm doing my own makeup. So love that. Speaking of blushes, I did not like these at first at all. I really did not like them. I found them really frustrating. Like first impression wise, I found them very frustrating. Now I get it. Now I totally get it because you just have to work with them in a very specific way. These are the Milk Cooling Water Jelly Tints. I wear these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially when I'm doing a, uh, just a quick makeup look to go to, go to work. I just want something fresh that gives me like a beautiful pop of color on my cheeks that's very long wearing. These are actually a tint, so, or more of a stain, I should say. They're, they're same thing. Tint, stain, it's all the same thing. Let me show you what this looks like on. So, you can kind of build up the intensity um, very easy, very quickly. So it goes on, there we go. It goes on very wet, very watery, very cooling. Like it actually feels very cool on your skin. But once it dries down, it is like there to stay. It will actually stain your skin. So in terms of like longevity, if you work really long hours and you want your blush to stay put all day and you want to feel really lightweight, this is definitely worth checking out. I just have a lot of um, tips on how to use it and not be frustrated with it. And my biggest tip and biggest takeaway for using this formula is to apply it on very wet, dewy skin. So meaning don't put this on top of powder, don't powder your base, don't set your makeup in any way before you put these on because you'll have a really, really hard time making them look nice. So make sure you're applying them on fresh, wet liquid foundation or tinted moisturizer or even like just very well hydrated and prepped with moisturizer or skin. So if you, if you want to wear this on bare skin, you totally can. Just make sure your skin's not dry. That's like the biggest and easiest uh, way I can describe it is just make sure your skin is not dry and you will absolutely love this formula. You can also use this on your lips. I haven't used them on my lips. I just like them as a blush. So these have been in heavy rotation. They're, they're always back and forth from my like personal makeup bag that I take with me on the go. Love those. So this next product I wanna share that's a favorite is from Milani. It's the Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. It's the shade Spilling Tea 120. This one works the best for my skin. It's a little bit more on the warm side than what I prefer for my cream bronzer, but I, the formula is so good, I don't care. <laughs> I still use it. And the formula is just, it's spot on. It reminds me so much of like a high-end cream bronzer. It reminds me a lot of like, um, gosh, I have so many favorites. It reminds me of like the Rare Beauty cream bronzer, even like the Chanel uh, Soleil de Tan, whatever it's called. That, it, that really expensive formula. This is like a nice, I hate to say it, but like a nice... Um, not the word, not the D word, because we're not supposed to say the D word on, on YouTube anymore, but like it's a good um, alternative, I should say, to a really, to really high-end cream bronzers. Formula is just, it's almost identical, to be honest, to like all the high-end ones. So it's a really great price. It's Milani, so it's drugstore, super affordable. But I was really shocked and blown away by how well this stayed on, how well it blends out. And it's been on heavy rotation for me, especially in the month of March. So had to share this one. Such a good product. So happy they came out with a cream bronzer, finally, right? I don't think they ever had one till now. So that's a favorite. And then it has some juicy stuff coming up. Juicy, juicy, fun stuff. Like this glitter puck from Half Magic. Holy smokes, this is this might be one of the most beautiful things I have received or tried in a long, long time. This is like pure fairy magic, like fairy dust, like sparkly, shimmery, very fine magic fairy dust. That's like the best way I could describe it. It quite literally is magic, right? Like hence the brand. Half Magic has some really cool, innovative things. So it's called a glitter puck. They only have one shade. 
and the shade is dopamine sparkle and boy is it a does it give you like a kick of dopamine it makes you just happy it really is just such a like fun product i have two i was lucky enough to receive two in pr thank you half magic i love you so one is for me the other one went straight into my makeup kit and i i show it to clients every once in a while and they're like ooh ah Listen, I don't get the chance to use this on many clients just because of what I do for a living. Not everyone is going for like a full on glitter moment with their eyes, but when they are, you better believe I, I pulled this out. So let me show you what this looks like because it quite literally is magic. You can apply with a brush. I think it's just best with a fingertip, to be honest. It has almost a, a wet base to it. It's weird. You have to like feel it to believe it. So let me swatch it for you. Oof, look at that. It's like wet glitter. Wet, metallic, super high shine. Let's just do a little bit more because I can't stop. Do you see that? It's unreal. It's not what I have on my eyes. I'll tell you what I have on my eyes in a minute because it's in this video. But look at that. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm really, really hoping, and I'm assuming they're going to have more shades, but I'm really hoping they're going to have more shades in this soon because I would love a champagne or like a smoky brown metallic. I would love those shades. So Donnie Davy, if you see this, please make some different shades because I'm obsessed with this formula. Like, come on, how good is that? So this was like one of the first products I pulled for this video when I was thinking about like my March favorites. I'm like, where's my glitter puck? I gotta get it for this video right now. Um, let's move on to some lips because I have a lot of lip products that I can't wait to share with you all. One is the lipstick that I have on right now. It was in collaboration with my friend Gabby my friend Gabby created her own custom shade with Mob Beauty. It is this, and I have been, when I tell you I've been obsessed with this shade, I've been obsessed with this shade. Like, I, it, uh, how do I describe it? It's like one of the most perfect, buildable, like layerable, meaning if you just do one coat, this is about a coat and a half of this lipstick, but if you build it up and you layer more um, coats of this shade, it gets more and more intense, And but it's like, your lips, it's like the ultimate your lips, but better lipstick. You know what I mean? It's like, it just is so flattering. So she crushed it with this. She did such an incredible job with this shade. Uh, I mean, I'm just so proud of Gabby. I'll, I'll leave a link to her Instagram below in like my description. Um, she's one of my buddies. She's just incredibly talented. She's a makeup artist. She's based in LA. She's just phenomenal and she's super creative. And I'm just I'm blown away by the shade and how much I love it, but I'm also not. Like, I kind of wouldn't expect anything less from Gabby. So, <laughs> whether that's a compliment or not. But this is the shade. It is the shade M144. I always forget the numbers, but this is what I have on right now. I did put a little bit of lip liner on it, on with it, and I'll make sure I link this as well. It's just from Maybelline. It's the Color Sensational Gone Grage. It's like a cool tone lip liner to go with. You could pair this with so many different lip liners. That's also the beauty of it. It will work with literally any skin tone, which is also the beauty of it. So just, it's really well thought out, really well done. Let me just show you what this looks like layered more intensely so you can see how it just differs in, in range depending on like how you apply it. So let me do a couple swatches. I'm just gonna go build back and forth a few times. Now on my hand, it's actually gonna look probably equal to what it looks like on my lips because my hands are much lighter than the pigment of my lips. So the pigment of my lips just kind of alters the shade. And that's also what makes it such a beautiful shade because it just looks, it looks different on everyone, but it's equally flattering on everyone. Love this, I'll link it. Highly recommend this formula. It feels really comfortable on the lips. And again, just like a really great everyday, your lips with better type shade. So been loving loving this one. And then also speaking of lips, this has been a go-to. I pair with a, a neutral lip liner. I put this all over and I call it a day. It's like one of my go-to work lipsticks or work colors that I've been pulling out the most frequently, especially in March. It's from House Labs. It's the, what is this called? PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze in the shade Guava. Guava is my favorite. I swatched them all at Sephora. Guava just stood out to me the most. It's just a really beautiful everyday kind of shade. Um, let me just swatch it for you because I don't have it on. And in case you haven't seen me use it in other tutorials, let's get a nice swatch. 
they feel very comfortable on. They're not sticky. They're a bit on the thick side, but I like that because to me, they just stay put longer. They're longer lasting and they don't move around too much on your lips and feather out, which I don't like. So I think the formula is really great. The shades that they launched are beautiful. Guava is just my personal favorite. And then speaking of lip liners that I like to pair with this, boy, do I have an inexpensive, great lip liner, two lip liners actually, to share with you. They're both from e.l.f. They do not have the shades listed on the lip liner themselves, but I will link the shades for these two in the description box. It's so strange why they didn't put the lip liner shades on this, unless I'm like completely not seeing it and I really need my glasses, I do not see it on the lip liner itself, but either way, these are $2 each. $2, two, one, two, just $2 each. So strange, because they're a really great formula. I've been wearing these, either one of these works really well with my guava. It's just been a go-to. Both of these have been in my to-go makeup bag that I take with me. And you can see, like I use the absolute heck out of these. I need to sharpen them, but let me just swatch them for you. So $2 lip liners from e.l.f. Can't go wrong. So this is more of a pinky shade, like a pinky blush tone shade. And this one has a lot more brown in it. It's more of like a everyday neutral nude. I think both are equally beautiful. I probably use this one just a bit more because it has more neutral in it and I love a good neutral lip liner. I'll link them both. Again, they're $2. They've been like a holy grail for me this past month. I've been just absolutely loving these. I've been telling everyone about them too because they're an outstanding deal, clearly. $2, like, come on. Um, and then kind of a random favorite for March, but I had to include it because I wanna keep this really authentic. When I'm in a hurry, and I just want one shade of shadow all over my eyelids. I've been grabbing my Vive. What are these called again? Eye Wands. I always want to call them a shadow stick. They're the Eye Wands from Vive. This shade in particular is Hazelnut. Hazelnut is just my, it's my BFF. I, Hazelnut goes everywhere with me. So these are great for a quick on the go eye look. I basically just apply it all over my eyelid in a massive hurry. I use my N13 brush with BK Beauty or my N16, depending on like what brush is readily available and clean. I smudge it all up into my crease and then I'm done. Mascara, a little tight lining with a darker pencil, and then I'm done. It's a really quick, convenient eye makeup for on the go. So I've been loving that. And then I wanna share what's on my eyes because I recently got to play with this palette a little bit more and I'm in love with the formula and I'm in love with the entire color story. So it's from Dominique Cosmetics. I have it on right now. And I actually filmed this eye makeup look in a previous, previously filmed, don't mind that noise, in a previously filmed video that's gonna be up the following week. That'll make sense next week. But I'm wearing this eye makeup and I did this whole eye makeup look in that video. Minus the skin, because I took my skin off and I did a whole different face makeup look. Anyway, not to give you too much backstory. This is the Dominique Cosmetics, the Essential Palette. It is a substantial, very nice, I hate that, but I just did it. A very nice palette, like very great, like great quality. And the way it's thought out color story-wise is just really beautiful and just, it spoke to me. I received this in PR from Dominique Cosmetics. So thank you so much, Dominique Cosmetics, for being so kind to me. And I opened it up and I'm like, oh yeah, like that's, beautiful. It's epic. It's, it's so gorgeous. Like you can't help but be drawn to this palette. So the shades that I have on right now, just to let you know, are basically the whole bottom row. So I have this shade on this one, this one, and this is my shimmer that's in the center of my eyelids. Great formula, very, very minimal fallout. Um, and again, I love the color story. I think it's really a beautiful and flattering color story. I think it's just a great palette. So I've been loving this palette from Domini Cosmetics. Big, big, big hit in my opinion. But that actually wraps up my March favorites. I want to keep it not too overwhelming and share like too many things um, because, you know, I want to do this like every month and don't want to overwhelm and like, you know, throw too many products into the mix. So these are my genuine favorites for the month of March. Please leave me a comment, share what your favorites were for the month of March. If any of these are the same and if you're loving these as well, share that in the comments as well. If you like Nikki and Cut, I have so many more. I try to do them weekly. I love hanging with you guys and just not cutting anything out except for like things like background noise. But anyway, 
If you hear a lot of background noise and Nikian cuts, it just is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.